What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're going to be talking about Nightmare on Elm Street in this video here today. Going over more specifically the comments that Robert England made about how he thinks the series could be rebooted or revived. Pointing out two different ways he thinks it could be rebooted or revived. And why I think he knows more than he's letting on. And just sharing a small tidbit of some stuff that I found out and have been informed about since December. Now, Robert England recently sat down with comic book to to address this recently he also came out and stated that he does not think he will be able to play freddy cougar again because he's too old and too thick and talked about having arthritis just stating a lot of the obvious as as to why he just doesn't see himself donning the classic fedora and the classic makeup again to portray everyone's favorite dream demon now with comic book recently when asked about how he could see the series being revived or rebooted he specifically talked about two different films from the franchise already that could be used as a basis to revive it in a contemporary way. He talked about Dream Warriors first, then he went on to talk about Freddy's Revenge. He said, I certainly think that they should reboot a Nightmare on Elm Street Dream Warriors because 3 has a, has a previously on Nightmare on Elm Street sense to it and it reunites everybody and it's the fan favorite. I think if you took a poll or a vote, you'd find out more people like Dream Warriors than any other film. I can, I can definitely say that I, I can agree with him there. Now, he said the original script... Or he said it's a good script and the original script for that is terrific. And if you look at who wrote it, those people have Oscars now. And then I would love to do a cameo in it. Maybe switch genders and play the Priscilla Pointer, Amy Irving's mother role. The skeptical, cynical therapist who doesn't believe they're all having a common dream, a dream in common, a nightmare, a collective nightmare. I think that would be fun. A nice wink at the audience. It's traditional in remake to bring back somebody from the original. And then he also continued on to talk about Freddy's Revenge. He said, but yeah, it's hard. I mean, I would love to see a sensitive contemporary director, independent spirit award winning director or somebody reboot Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge, and really explore Freddy's manipulation of the boy in that and the boy's burgeoning bisexuality. I think today we could do that. We could deal with that and what's going on there and play with the psychology of it and Freddy's manipulation of that and really make that heroic. I think that would be interesting to do. I think we are ready for that. He also went on to talk about some other fun ways the reboot could have some cool aspects to it. And everybody that has heard the legend about Freddy, the myth, the story whispered about the lock around the locker room or at the sleepover party that hears about this Freddy Cougar who killed children and my mother heard and she said and I heard daddy say and blah 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 now they've heard about it now they're infected and Freddy's in their subconscious and when they fall asleep he can enter them but they only know those basic facts so they could imagine a different Freddy and then we would maybe reveal at the end the uber Freddy that's controlling all of these dreams but it's their subconscious that manipulates the image of Freddy so you could have half a dozen Freddy's actors play Freddy which would be fun I think now that last one honestly got me thinking if done correctly that could very much so be a clever fun way to revive the series although it does sound a little similar to the Candyman revival we've recently got which was a direct legacy sequel to that first movie but even still there's so many different options people have tossed around about who they would like to see don the fedora and replace Robert as Freddy Krueger whose iteration of Freddy Krueger they would like to see next which with him saying something like that again if done correctly perhaps that could be done very well and you wouldn't have to wonder what it would have been if you got this person that you wanted what if they bring in several different people to play freddy because it's just based off of somebody's interpretation or imagination of how they picture freddy krueger to be and maybe one of those iterations does end up being a small brief cameo from robert england himself donning the classic makeup again if we were to be so lucky as viewers in attendance now the reason I think he knows more than he's letting on is because back in December, now I, I can't say what specifically I was told. I, I just cannot do that yet. What he stated in this interview is echoing things that I've been told. So I'm like, is there some legitimacy to this? Because Robert talking about this now, and I've heard some other things since then, but I'm like, okay. I think there's I think there's things being moved. Things are definitely getting into motion. I think we're getting more and more closer 
to a potential reboot revival that could very much so be going down the path that Robert has suggested they should go down. I think it's more so a case that perhaps Robert knows this is the direction they are going to go down and he framed it in this manner without specifically telling us, hey, yeah, this is what it is. I think he knows more than he's letting on and I simply state that speculating because what he stated here, not, not a vast majority, but the general basis of it is what I heard was what was going to happen around December of last year. I heard stuff about Dream Warriors, Freddy's Revenge being used as a basis for a revival in the near future. But it's all, of course, up to what's happening with this current bidding war. We have to wait and be patient and see who ends up securing the rights to it. We have to see, of course, how the Craven estate will benefit from it, if at all, what their thoughts are on it. Because I know the first time we heard anything about this franchise anything substantial anyway as far as pitches being taken was that back in 2019 they were open to taking pitches looking to do a tv show maybe even a new movie but we haven't heard anything major since then but i think that from robert england's recent comments that he knows more than he's letting on possibly because it's echoing things that i that i heard would be the approach being taken for reboot revival back in december so i'm like okay Perhaps some of the things that get sent my way are actually legitimate and maybe I should start sharing some other stuff that I hear more frequently, but be certain to label them as rumors. But I'll just be, again, patient, wait and see, because I, I can't specifically state everything that I've been told. But I do want to point out that Robert basically echoed a lot of it. Uh, well, again, not not too much specifically, but the general basis of it. So. Hopefully we get something sooner rather than later. And again, hopefully whoever dons the classic fedora will be someone who can live up to what Robert has brought to us over the countless years, a part of that wonderful franchise that we all love and adore. And hopefully it can also be someone who can stick around for many more new entries when this series inevitably returns, because I believe we will be back on Elm Street much sooner rather than later. But you guys can, again, let me know what you think about all of this down in the comment section below. What do you think about Robert England's comments? If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.